Welcome to Nerd Alert. Today I have a very special interview with a man who is an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and helped create something called the iWriter, which we will tell you about very soon. Please welcome Mick Ebling. It's great to have you here. Thanks. Um, so you created the iWriter to help your friend Tempt One, who is an LA-based graffiti artist, and he's actually very pretty well known. Yeah. Um, but he suffered, in 2003, he was diagnosed with ALS, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So how did this um, come about? Uh, it came about, I think like a lot of things in life, totally by chance. I got invited to an art show. Mm -hmm. um, spur of the moment, a friend came by and said, hey, do you want to go to the show? I said, yes. We showed up and we went to a show right over here in Culver City and the place was just like pouring with people and just there's this massive amount of energy and I had no idea who the show was for, what it was about, but there were all the pretty much the badasses of the LA graph scene and street art scene and uh, it was just one of those impressions where I left and I was like, what, what is that all about and who's this for? So that's how I became introduced to him. Very cool. So he had always been well known for his uh, graffiti art and writing, mm -hmm. but he after he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's, he he was paralyzed everywhere except for his eyes, I believe. Mm -hmm. But he still had all these creative ideas, exactly. And he needed a way to express himself, exactly. Is that where you came in finally? Um, so after that art show, it was the kind of like the seed that was planted, and then after that. Um, my production company, because I have a production company, we decided to, instead of giving our clients, you know, a bottle of wine or a toaster or some kind of silly gift like that that they throw away or forget about, we were going to make a donation in their name and we were going to do it to the Tempt One Foundation. So come, I think it was February or so, we decided to, I, I called his father and brother and said, hey, let's meet. So we sat down for breakfast and said, hey, we're going to give you this money, what are you going to use it for? And his brother, before I even finished my sentence, said, I just want to talk to my brother again. And I was kind of surprised because I think if you're not, um, you don't have ALS or paralysis or any of those kinds of diseases as part of your life, I think the majority of the people just assume that everybody has a Stephen Hawking machine or a Christopher Reeves machine or some kind of a machine that helps you communicate even though you might be paralyzed. And that's absolutely not the case. It's only, as, I, as was explained to me right then and there, you can only have that form of communication if you have insurance or money. And his family didn't have either at that time. So um, I felt like that was kind of an injustice that someone wouldn't be able to communicate uh, which the crazy thing is the way that they were communicating was by running their hand along a piece of paper, their finger along a piece of paper, and then as they got to a letter, Tempt would blink his eyes, and then his brother, or father, or caretaker, whoever would write the letter down, and they would go back and repeat it again. So if you can imagine what it would take to just say good morning, it's like a five minute ordeal. This is a, this is a 1.0. So, mm -hmm. um, I live in Venice Beach, so this is uh, a pair of sunglasses from the Venice Beach Boardwalk. <laughs> Um, this is a coat hanger. Uh -huh. This is uh, two different colors of electrical tape just because we wanted to be styly, but Ooh. you can use whatever color you want. Um, this is a Sony PS3 camera that we hacked open. So and that's the, the PlayStation I, mm -hmm. right? That's and an old camera. It's a very old camera, but that was, <laughs> what are we, six years ago now. Uh, and the new version now you can get on eBay for four bucks, and you don't need these, which are the uh, IR lights. Um, to illuminate the pupil because the new cameras are sensitive enough to, to use just regular natural light. There's so much talk about trying to make healthcare more accessible mm -hmm. and people having access to healthcare. And, um, you know, I feel incredibly blessed that this, this path has been kind of unfolding in front of me. But I think what's happened is that we've now kind of got a glimpse of being able to create medical devices and tools for people that are a fraction of the cost that they can either make themselves or that we're going to be able to create that, that can then be resold. So in a way, without sounding too grandiose, we see this as possibly the beginning of revamping how healthcare is delivered to people around the world. That's incredible. So is that the ultimate maybe dream that you would like to see for Not Impossible Absolutely. Labs? Absolutely. I would love to see this kind of revolutionize how healthcare is delivered mm -hmm. so that we're not held hostage by exactly. insurance companies or, I mean, think about all the markups for a simple device. Mm -hmm. um, you, everybody takes a piece all the way along the way. If we can actually create these devices that you can make them yourself right. or 
a lot of people don't want to make them themselves. If a company can come on and take what we've done and make that cheaper, but actually better and more affordable, so that the conventional healthcare system just becomes more accessible, and not trying to change it and get rid of it, but actually make it where, you know, imagine if a thousand devices that we all need when we go to a hospital were now cut in half in terms of pricing. That's going to have a massive effect. I think on that healthcare. could be just like the greatest change. I mean. There's lots. There's so many people who need a medical device, not necessarily like this, mm -hmm. but who wouldn't be able to afford it, but have this passion and desire. Yep. And I think if you could have just applied that to to creating one, that would just be incredible.